movieweb.com. This boy who's currently being looked after. Anything you do say can be used as evidence in any later court appearances, you understand? Yeah. Tell me if you agree with this. This boy who's being looked after, he knows who you are. And you've done some bad things, sweetie. So I wanted to begin by asking you, James, um, when your character comes into this family, obviously it's his family, but he's been away from them for a while. You know, it feels like he knows sort of the difference between right and wrong, but he's torn because they're his family, right? Can you talk a little bit about what's going on there? Yeah, I think Josh growing up as a kid, the backstory was that his father was never in the picture and his mother was a pretty bad parent um, in that he never had a proper male role model. So while in, on one level, if he's come into this Cody family and he's got hesitations about what he's being told to do, he just, before just, you know, choosing something to do, whether it's what, right or wrong, he just wants to do what's right by the family. Because that seems to be the unspoken code that family is everything, and right. um, you know, it's like he just wanted to fit in and connect with these people that he's now living with because he didn't have anyone. Yeah, and Sullivan, your character Craig, um, could you talk a little bit about his role in the family and and what <laughs> sort of you know, leads to his uh, ultimate sort of downfall? Yeah, well, I mean, Craig's the Craig's the middle brother, um, and you know, closely watched over by his older brother Ben Mendelsohn, um, but he's the drug dealer of the family. Um, gave up doing um, robbery with the rest of his brothers because he saw more profit in drugs uh, and then probably got a little too high on his own supply and uh, you know lost the plot a bit but um, he's you know he's the live wire of the, of the family um, and you know he's a bit of a nutcase but uh, the you know the challenge to Craig playing Craig was um, trying to give him you know a vulnerability and you know a little bit of light and shade because I mean it'd be quite easy to play that kind of character over the top. Yeah, you know? uh, I think it'd be boring to and to watch. You know. It's yeah. Like, you know. And when Joel's character, uh, who's sort of the leader of the family, um, we'll just say ends up no longer being around, how does that? You know, how does Craig sort of take that? Because he doesn't take it well. <laughs> no, he doesn't take it well. <laughs> um, you know. I'd say, uh, you know, Craig and Baz, I mean, you know, all those boys, you know, they're a tight-knit group, you know, um, and they would have grown up together, you know, I mean, losing, losing a mate, uh, you know, hurts, and uh, it certainly hurt Craig. Yeah, and, and Jay's going through some stuff, you know, the devastation that he feels when he loses his girlfriend and sort of finds out that maybe someone in the family is responsible. Can you talk about what he's going through there? Is that the first point where he sort of realizes what's, what maybe is happening here? Um, I know I don't really want to talk about it. Okay. You know, I mean, it's just, because I, it's something that I can't quite articulate either, but right. if I could, I'm not sure I still would want to give that quite up. Right. But, he, but definitely, I think by around... But dealing with Pope, in Two-thirds of the film, he, he realises that if he's going to start taking action for himself, then he has to do it. He can't depend on other people anymore. Right. Yeah. And he has a tough decision sort of dealing with his grandmother at, at near the end of the movie, right? No. No, no tough decision? That's not a tough no, decision? No, because it, anything that, that Smurf may or may not have done in the film, Josh wasn't partial to. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So he was completely oblivious to to what she was doing. Right. She was always just the sweet, doting grandmother that she always was. And, and he still sees her as that at the, near the end? Oh, wow. So where, if you had to imagine, like, where would you see the family going from, from that point at the end? I mean, does he, does he just go back to it? Um, I don't think that was ever discussed, and I'm not, I haven't ever given it too much thought about where Josh would end up, but if Josh decided to stay, then the power structure would have definitely shifted, um, and Josh would have, you know, almost had a power over Darren. But um, yeah, it was. I've never thought about where he went or exactly what he did after the events in the film, but I just knew that he, he was capable after that point. Oh my goodness. I need to talk to you. You've done some bad things, sweetie. 